In this video, I will be showing you how to do a simple staining with methylene blue. The tools that you will need for this experiment include a heat fix slide, stain tray, slide clip, methylene blue stain, slide box, bibulous paper, water bottle for rinsing, stain collection vessel, germicide, paper towels, gloves, biohazardous waste, goggles, and a lab coat. Using the heat fix smear from experiment 2, place the smear slide on top of the stain tray rack facing up. You want the smear side up so that you can put the dye directly onto the smear. Next, put several drops of methylene blue directly onto the smear. Once you've done that, you let the stand for about one minute. The reason why we use methylene blue stain is so that it stains the bacteria on the slide so that we can see their shapes under the microscope. Next, you're going to pick up the slide using your slide clip. Angle the slide downward so that the methylene blue stain can run off into the stain tray. Now, while still holding onto the slide using the slide clip, wash off the excess methylene blue dye using water. You want to direct the water to the top of the smear. You want to let the water run down the surface of the slide. You do not want to directly hit the smear with water. This could cause the bacteria on the slide to splash off and onto other surfaces, which would contaminate them. Once you've washed off the excess dye, either blot the slide dry or let the slide completely air dry on a slide tray. For this experiment, I will be blot drying the slide. To do this, place the slide in a book of bibulous paper. Gently rub the slide while it's in the blotting paper. Don't push too hard because this could break the slide. After our slide has been blot dried, it will be ready to be viewed under a microscope. When viewing the bacterial specimen, make sure that you are viewing it under the 1000x objective lens. You should see something like this under the microscope. Now that you are done viewing the specimen under the microscope, put the slide in the slide box for later use. Then, pour liquid from the stain tray into the stain collection vessel for disposal. Once you're done with that, dispose of your gloves. You should put these in a biohazardous waste container. Then, wash your hands. Then, wash your workspace with germicide. Once you've done that, wipe your workspace down with paper towels.